Hi, this is David and I'd like to show you how to import contacts from MailChimp into Outlook. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder within Outlook. So I'm going to right click and create new folder and uh, we'll call this MailChimp contacts and we'll make sure it's contact items and we'll do it under the contact the main contacts folder. So here's my new folder that I've just created called MailChimp Contacts. If I go into MailChimp you will see that here is my list I'm going to import Peter's Posse. I've got 705 subscribers um, and the first thing to look at is the fields. So I'll show you the fields and here we've got email address, first name, last name, company, job title, phone and mobile that I've added as list fields. Um, and we've also got some groups. You may or may not have groups in your list, but I've got a group here called Interested In. And if I view the groups, you can see we've got four options of things which these people are interested in. And we're going to import all this information into Microsoft Outlook. So I'll minimize that again. Uh, and the way that we do this, we click on the MailChimp tab, and I'm going to do a one time import only synchronization. Um, so I'll select my list which is Peter's Posse. Um, I'll select a contact folder where it's going to which is my new folder here MailChimp contacts. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to click on import only which is a, a one-way synchronization. Um, we don't need to worry about some of these when we're only importing but I've set it up so that it won't send an email to anyone. Um, and um, we we will import contacts that have been unsubscribed. Um, we could set that to uh, don't import contacts that have unsubscribed, but I'll set it so that we do import unsubscribed. And we're not going to ignore contacts which are hard bounced or soft bounced. Um, and uh, because we're not synchronizing, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the This line doesn't matter either because uh, this is what to do in, in case there's a conflict between what's been updated in MailChimp and in Outlook. So I've got my um, options set up on this field. I've got my list and my folder selected. The next thing I need to do is to map my fields. So I'll click on map the MailChimp list fields. It's automatically mapped the first three for me. And if I look in my MailChimp list, I've got some more fields to map. So I'm just going to map these to the uh, so the left hand side is the MailChimp list and the right hand side are the fields which are available within Outlook. So I'm going to add company, I'm going to go to job title, then Outlook maps job title again. Um, phone, I'm going to map this to business phone. Business phone. Um, mobile, I'm going to map to mobile phone. And the last option here is my group and you can see that it shows me that it's a group and I'm going to map that to categories in Outlook. I could map it to a custom field if I wanted to but I'm just going to map it to categories. Um, and we'll add that. And now I'm going to set these fields as folder fields. Um, and that's just something we need to do for Outlook. Um, and we've now finished mapping. All the fields are mapped so we're happy. Um, we'll save that information and it now offers me the chance to sync so I'm going to click on sync and I don't know whether you can see um, but down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen it's telling me that it's synchronizing I can't move it into the window and then very shortly it populates the folder with the contacts that we've just imported Okay, and if I change the view to a list view, you can see down the bottom I've got 706 items, and here are all the contacts. Um, and I don't know whether you can see there, we've got the uh, the fields which um, I've selected, where people have selected items, they've been shown there. So that's how we import um, from. MailChimp into Outlook.